According to the Middle East ICE report, the U.S. has pushed back on a report by the New York Times that it failed to publicly raise concerns over reports that Saudi Arabia killed hundreds of Ethiopians attempting to cross the country's border with Yemen. Human Rights Watch released a 73-page report last week based on witness interviews and analyses of photos, videos, and satellite imagery going back to 2021, documenting a widespread and systematic pattern of attacks by Saudi forces that may amount to crimes against humanity. According to the report, Saudi border guards shot people attempting to cross the border at close range and in some cases asked them, which of their limbs they would prepare to be shot. On Saturday, the New York Times reported that American diplomats were informed of the attacks late last year, but in the following months failed to publicly criticize Saudi Arabia. According to the NYT report, one of the senior U.S. officials briefed on the killings in December by the U.N. was Stephen Fagging, the U.S. ambassador to Yemen. When Middle East, I reached out to the State Department for comment on the NYT article. A spokesperson directed the State Department's 2022 Human Rights Report, which was publicly released on March 20, 2023. The State Department report cited a May 6, 2022 article published by me that Ethiopian migrants held in detention centers around the country were subject to beatings and extortion and left in an unsanitary, overcrowded rooms. The same report also publicly acknowledged allegations that bodies of Ethiopian and Yemeni migrants were piled near an informal detention facility in southern Saudi Arabia, bearing gunshot wounds to the head and marks of torture. The State Department report publicly detailed a letter from the UN Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights addressed to the Saudi government listing allegations of migrant abuse perpetrated by Saudi security forces, including killings, torture, arbitrary, detention, and sexual abuse. The State Department report said that the letter cited reports suggesting that Saudi forces may be pursuing a policy of excessive use of firearm force to stop and deter migrants from crossing the Saudi-Yemeni border. The letter referred to the information suggesting that Saudi security forces killed approximately 330 migrants and injured 650 others in cross-border shelling and shooting between January and April 30, 2022. U.S. officials have also pushed back on claims that they failed to raise the allegations with Saudi Arabia. A State Department spokesperson told me that the United States has engaged senior Saudi officials a number of times on this over the course of the last year to express our concerns about the allegations and continues to urge that Saudi authorities undertake a thorough and transparent investigation. I am Lovely Montoya of Manila STV.